buffering, or was, was that me? I don't know. We'll give it a go anyway. What's the worst that could happen? I could be sitting here talking to myself and, and, no, it's working. Yes. And I've unmuted the mic as well. I'm an IT genius. Um, hello, good evening and welcome to a Thursday night. It's seven o'clock. I've got two hours of bliss where I have the house to myself. And I, I, oh, two seconds. Can't be doing with this arty farty moody lighting. I mean, are you okay with the bad colour balance and just being able to see everything? Uh, we'll go. We'll go with that. Um, there's lots of people in chat. Uh, as always, this is a special shout out to a select number of people who are used to conversing in a certain way in uh, YouTube chats when I'm doing a live, please remember that um, we're in public. So none of your usual stuff, please. Just don't, please. Uh, also remember, uh, Streamlabs, the bot, um, will no doubt appear at some point and uh, ban you, mute you, or do something because she's she's just out of order she just can't help herself uh we also have spanners i don't know who the spanners tonight are um oh mo's back mo's back mo's back as a spanner and mr hinchliffe i have no idea why i make him a spanner it's just for badness uh but thank you to everybody that has appeared here to watch this live if you're watching this after the event then uh YouTube chat is has been recorded, but um, it doesn't always appear straight away. So please bear that in mind. And I have my goggles. I have a cup of coffee, and um, <laughs> and uh, and we're going to go for it. So I was going to bring some wine out. I got this. Um, what is it? Um, Oh, my dad. Uh, dad, are you watching? Message me. What's the name of that wine again? Uh, Yellowtail. Kangaroo. Yellowtail. Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, but um, anyway, Daz, I I'm sorry if you're feeling a little bit tired there, son. I apologise. I, I really do apologise. I will try to make things a little bit spicier for you. <sighs> Fanny boss. Anyway, um, who have we got? Uh, Mr. McKenzie, Christopher, Daniel, Rob, Tony, Scott, Peter, Mr. Kingswell, say hi to your mum. <laughs> uh, Adrian, Tony, uh, we've got Mo and Rick, uh, OG Hatman, Eric, and and the man that keeps me right. Be lost without him. Hello, Adrian. A pleasure as always. I like Adrian a lot. Um, Tony, we said hello to you already, my bald-headed ginger friend with just... just <laughs> uh, TC66, um, Shick Boy, Michael Ross, uh, from down on the southeast coast. Uh, Eric, still washing his car. I'm not washing my car today. It was bucketing with rain today. Uh... Michael, uh, no, no Chinese. We went out for some lunch today. We had a nice lunch. Um, destroy uh, Mr. Edwards. Honestly, that um, kin, kin, as in kinship, kin. Um, watched the first episode of that, first season. Really, really good. Uh, really good. Um, uh, who have I missed here? Uh, who did I miss? M Matt, Vlad... Tony, Tono, uh, who else have we got here? Dan, oh, there's lots of names popping up here. Uh, Dan, still love you. Right, I uh, never knew kangaroos had tails. They do. They do. Um, okay, going to show you some pretty toys um, that have come in. Um I am still waiting on the Vape Monster. Um, I'm, I've got the Vape Monster Arc Sign and a uh, Carbon Fibre If Mods. Now, China, Korea, 
Uh, obviously, both had, you know, they had the Chinese New Year and whatnot, so they were off for a they're still off. I think a lot of them aren't back until next week. So there's a bit of delay in those two mods, which sucks. But um, that's life. That's life. Um, hi, Alex. Thank you very much. Um, and we'll just go for it. Right. Before we get going, as I have said before, and as many people know that watch my videos or, or sleep through them or whatever they do, um, I am not an advocate. I don't get involved in advocacy. Um, I review hardware. That is my thing. That's always been my thing. Don't do drama. Don't do the bullshit. Just, I just show you hardware, and that's it. Um, however, we'll get this out of the way. We'll just do this very quickly. Um, if you are in the UK uh, and the whole, uh, you know, ban and disposables, flavor bans, and all this, the flavor bans. If you're worried about that. Go on to this site here. Um, it's uh, just you can go on to Parliament. Actually, I should um, I should copy that, shouldn't I? And I should pop that into chat. Might be a good idea to pop that into chat. So rather than bumping your gums in YouTube comments and not actually achieving anything, go and write a little letter to your local member of Parliament. And let them know how you feel about all the shit that's been going on. That's how you get shit done. Or, or, if you do feel that way inclined, uh, you can go and fill out a petition. Uh, you can go and complete a petition. I'll put this in the chat as well. Uh, don't ban flavoured e-liquids for e-cigarettes. Uh, this has been bumped around pillar to post just now. 8,507 signatures. Um... I have an opinion on, on um, petitions, uh, which are neither here nor there, but uh, it won't stop me sharing it. You'll see it everywhere. A little bit of advice. As much as you might like to go and create your own petition, please don't. Uh, just don't. Don't go. Just just stick with the one and you'll be you'll find. Uh, the other thing I'll mention before we crack on to the fun stuff is for the love of God, you're going to see people offering you free t-shirts, um, autographs, the lot, in exchange for a little bit of money. You'll hear people talking about money a lot now that uh, all this is kicked off. Don't give them anything. Just don't. It's 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 a scam. It's There's people that make money from this misery. If people are talking about money, there's a good chance they're after money. So just... Use your common sense. Use your common sense. I believe that you lot have common sense. Why else would you be here listening to me? Tuh. Uh, right. More coffee. Um, I'll I'll try and catch up with chat. Um, towards the end. Uh, towards the end. I'll show you stuff first. Right. Um. Before we get going, uh, before we get going, other things that I bleat on about from time to time, I do tend to repeat myself because as a reviewer, that's my right. We like to repeat ourselves just to make out like we know what we're talking about. Um, I don't review e-liquid. I don't accept e-liquid unless it's somebody that's really annoying and won't shut the fuck up unless I take the juice. Uh, it just so happens that somebody that's really small and really annoying did pester me to give give me juice so the fluid juice uh i did mention the what was it this one now i can conclusively say that after a week or two of using this i like this juice it does taste of lemon drizzle i've been hammering away at it i would consider going out and buying another bottle of this even though i got this free i would go and buy one that's all I can tell you. Go to the website, the Fluid website, if you want more information or go and find somebody that's into juice reviews. But uh, it's all subjective. But uh, it tastes like lemon drizzle cake to me. Um, this one, Cobalt. I have been enjoying that. It took me a little while to get used to that. I can do it in an RTA, but I, I, I find it not so great 
um, in a, a dripper. It just seems to be a bit <gasps> for me. Um, but I, me personally, I'm a vanilla custard fan. That's what I vape day in, day out. It's not something I would necessarily go and buy for myself again. The other one, um, Jam Roly Poly. Uh, I, 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 it's the Mama Jamma. I see a lot of people talking about this and how they love it. And when I smell it, and I get all the, and it's, it's not overpowering crap. The, 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 I'll give it to the guys. It's not overpowering crap. Um, but I get, I get a bit of a harshness from this, and I don't know what it is. Um, there's a, an organic flavouring in it for the strawberry. And I'm wondering if that's what's reacting with my throat. Um, it, it tastes good, but it, it feels a little bit harsh in my throat. Uh, so so, so there we go for uh, the Mama Jamma from Fluid. Once again, thank you to the guys for sending these juices on. Uh, I didn't pay for them. I got them free. And um, and that's as much as a juice review I would do. Uh, there we go. Sorry. Um... Chat, chat. Money talks and BS walks in the way of the internet. Yes. Uh, Batty. Uh, they're succeeding. They're trying to... Don't say the name again or they'll turn up. Yes, I know. We don't. We try not to talk about them. Um, uh, uh, the harshness is just Pug's personality. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, does the Pulse AI give does the Pulse AIO give a distinctive flavour if you use it as a high nicotine mouth to lung? Does the Pulse AIO? Are you talking about the RBA that's inside the Pulse? That one. You talking about that one? Um. If it's that one, I I don't know how you're mouth to lung in that. Um, it didn't really come with a mouth to lung pin, did it? I did a review. I rate it. I really like it, but not for mouth to lung. Uh, not for mouth to lung. Uh, ha! My little Mexican friend has. Uh, oh, that was not supposed to sound like I was doing an accent there. But my little Mexican friend is here. Uh, right. Where will we start? Where, where is there anything particular you want to see? Um, actually, I, told, I know what we'll do to start off with. Uh, this. You've probably seen it, this bloody thing. Um, I know everybody's been touting it and showing it off and whatnot, um, but it's the, the Fumitech uh, hookah thing. Um, yeah. Watch this. It's great. Um, well, when I say it's great, um, the short and sweet version is uh, it takes, it's a disposable uh, sub-ohm tank, if you like, inside it. Um, I don't even know how much, it just arrived. I've not checked anything. Uh, I don't know how much juice it holds. Uh, this is a 0 0.4 ohm. Uh, you can use this, it's, it's just a battery inset. I don't even know what size the battery is and I've not checked any of the spec. Uh, but there's just a battery in there. You can so and you can, you, you can just use a regular 510 drip tip on top of it and just vape it like that if you want. Or you can um, pop it in this stand thing and uh, go for gold. Um, I've, I've used hookahs before. I've used e-hookahs before. Um, and... They're always the same. Um, I wouldn't say I lose a lot of flavour, but it cools it right down. I mean, there's 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 zero warmth in it at all. Uh, so not everybody likes that. Um, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, it's the kind of thing that I would not keep in the house because Karen would leave me. So there you go. Oh, 
that would have been good. I just almost le almost left it on top of that candle there. Push that in there. Uh, it's not rebuildable. As I said, it's a disposable uh, sub-ohm tank. Uh, you don't get new coils. I don't know how long the coil's going to last, but um, you're going to yeah, have to buy the whole tank and coil inside. Uh, but um, yeah, there we go. It's a lot. It's it's. I don't know. I, I don't. I honestly don't know if it's just um, four point two volt uh, to the zero point four ohm coil, but it seems to put the power out. It seems to put the power out. Um, but um, I'll try and find. I'll, I'll use it. Um, I'm not saying I'll use it every day because I wouldn't want to walk about with that. Uh, but um, I'll find technical spec and stuff like that for you and try and give you as much info as I can. Uh, but uh, there we go with that. We'll have a quick look in chat. Um, Mama Jamma with custard is lovely. Woo! Uh, has a lot of mascarpone in the exhale. Yes, mascarpone in the exhale is a good thing. Um, rebuildable go parallel ridge. A drift. What AIO mod kit would you recommend most for someone just diving in the re AIO realm? Um, depends on your budget, buddy. It depends on your budget. Um, you've got your... I don't normally do recommendations, but if you want to dip your toe in and see if it's for you or not, um, I know not everybody would uh, recommend this, or you might have some people that say no, but for me, um, the, the Pulse, the new Pulse, um, the RBA rebuildable inside it is superb. It really is. Uh, it does have a few cons to it, but for the money, uh, I think it's really good. Uh, just make sure you buy it from a decent store, and so if you have any issues, you can take it back. That's that's that. Um, Mid-range budget, you've got things like the San, uh, S-A-N, San, Stubby, um, Cthulhu. There's, there's, there's loads, loads of them. Under a hundred, a uh, hundred pounds. That um, yeah, now is possibly the best time to pick up um, a cheap AIO to see if you like it or not. Um, get yourself in the Facebook groups, uh, go and watch the reviews, all that usual stuff. Um, but uh, I was something sticking in here. What well, I was thinking? It's that. It's my candle. I got I got that candle for my Christmas, and and it and it stinks. It absolutely stinks. In fact, it smells like the dog did fart. Um, uh, but, 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 the BM forty is. I have no idea what the BM forty is. I don't know what the BM forty is to be honest. Uh, check reviews, but uh, put in your bar when you use Raga. Raga's very, very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, uh, I was looking at the sand a lot. Been worried about some friends complaining about door rattle. Door rattle. The, yes. That That's the thing with these mass-produced mods. Uh, that you will, you know, if, if a few thousand or thousands are getting run off, then yeah, you can come across rattly doors and wobbly buttons and... Uh, it's just one of these things. Uh, lost vape. I remember after one seven said take mock at RTA. But okay, right. Uh, oh, there we go. Tone home. Uh, I'm doing a video. Do you do reviews? Maybe you want to drop a link into your channel while you're in there, buddy. Yeah. Bloody Americans. I don't know. <laughs> You fire away, Tony. You fire away, pal. Uh, right, let's do some uppy closey stuff. Um, right, I better get my game head on here so that I know what I'm talking about. Everything you're about to see here, there will be reviews for. This is not a review. This is a quick look at something, okay? It's just a quick look. Uh, so if you're asking for technical spec and all the rest, what does a vape like? I'm not going to tell you because a lot of this has just come in. And I've just started using it, so I can't really give you, yeah, you know the drill. Uh... 
Okay. Uh, right. Sorry. This is um, this is Joe. This is Joe. Joe is is he looks after the coffee stains. So Joe stays there while there's a coffee stain. I meant to clean this before I started the live, but I I, I completely forgot. So uh, Joe now lives there. Uh, but we'll get these out of the way. We'll do these first. Um, there are a couple of things that I'm playing with just now. I have no idea why that colour... Oh, that colour is so bad. Anyway, um, this review will be coming along before long, uh, towards the end of the month, uh, for the, the Inukin Chroma Nova. I will say that the coil has been doing quite well. Uh, the coil has been doing quite well. Um, and that's about all I can say. That it, It's a Chroma with a 3000 milliamp hour internal battery. Uh, it, it's... It's all about the coils. With I mean, Inukin coils, they're not the best compared with some coils that are on the market right now. So, yeah, it's just one of these things. Um, right, uh, can um, Mo, uh, can you start timing out anybody that mentions white balance? I don't care who they are, just time them out. Just time them out. In fact, how 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 about I do it? Because I need to get my kick somehow. Um, it's weird though. It's really weird. Can you actually? Can I? Um, I've said this before. On my monitor, on my my screen here, it's brilliant white. It's when it takes it through. I think it might be my HDMI converter. But anyway, if you don't like it, you can... There's, there's Apparently there's other reviewers that do shows on Thursday nights. You can go and watch them. Um, okay. This one. Uh, so, I got this when I was at the uh, Expo last year. I uh, never reviewed it because I was told not to. Because it was a test sample. Uh, all these people that went out and reviewed it were... Um, well, shouldn't have because it was it wasn't for sale and uh, and the pods weren't fit didn't work you know it was a it was a pre production thing so I I don't know why people reviewed it anyway that's none of my business um this uh, they finally sent me a box with loads of this stuff inside it um different fill system on here. Uh, that's uh, a Bill's drip tip. Obviously, it's 510 at the top. You know all about it. You've probably seen a bazillion reviews for this over the past few months. Um, but I will say, uh, and, and, and this is... Um, this is... Oh, just... Scott Wood, get him out of here. Uh, the wee Mexican guy, get him out of here as well. No, kidding aside, there's a lot of people saying that this pod system and whatnot is the second coming and it's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, using the original one, um, I really, d I mean, the technology in it's clever, very good. Uh, but I, I had no idea what they were barking on about because I didn't rate it that, I didn't think it was any better than, say, uh, a Nevox or an Oxfa or, or anything like that. I really didn't. But then I tried one of the new pods, filled it full of juice, put it on my desk, left it overnight, came out next morning, started vaping on this, and I've been using it all day. It's, um, the flavour is, it's up there with some of my favourite coils, pre-made coils, so. Yeah, Mo, I'll tell you, Mo, timing all these people out, I swear to God, you're, um, you're, you better sleep with one eye open tonight, mate. These, these they'll be after you. They'll be after you. Uh, did you get Tony Hunt? I'll, can I get Tony Hunt? I, I just, I've got this thing about Tony Hunt. He's, he's just, um, I just got to time him out. Put user on timeout. Yeah, there we go. Just, just boom, gone. Bye, Tony. 
I take money from that guy every month just so I can time him out in videos. It's brilliant. Um, anyway. Oh! There's a Canadian in the house. Hello! Uh, we like Canadians here. I like them so much I married one. Okay. Pods out the way. Uh, that's that stuff done. Um, we'll show you this. I've just actually taken... Uh, I feel really bad about... <laughs> Because this this is not showing it off in it, it, it its finest. It has to be said. Um, oh my God Almighty! Uh, could I? I? I'm I'm. This happens every time. I re I really do think that um, I'm not bothered about this stuff, but then I see it and I go, Oh my God, that is really really shit. Uh, Take that off. Take that off. Uh, let's 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 let's. No. Nah. No, nah, that's that's as bad as it's going to be. Anyway, this is the the narrow sixty from uh, Yondon at Imperium Mods. I I didn't thumb down. I, that wasn't me. I did thumb up. Yeah, but I thumbed down my own video. Oh my god. Um, Yondon Emporium Mods. It's uh, an eighteen six fifty. Um, it's a DNA sixty. Um, and um, as always with Yondon's work, you try finding the fire button in this thing. Uh, it is just if you can't see it, the the fire the firing button is actually there. Up and down button are here. His mods are always really really well made. Um, and I like the guy a lot and this is the, I think it's called the Burnt Earth or Scorched Earth uh, version uh, but um, yeah, there'll be a full review for that and go check out his Facebook page um, I forgot the name of the Facebook page Emporium Mods, uh, go check it out uh, he's a good lad and he deserves a, he deserves more success that's my humble opinion on it that's my humble opinion on it. Um, die, die, even bother with this. I, 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 I just, this just pains me every week. Uh, let's, let's, what can we do here? Can we, Must be something to get this a little bit better. It's just utter gut. Oh, it's terrible. It's getting worse. I give in. Right. Enough of that. Uh, so, uh, I just want to mention this one that I, I just reviewed. Oh, that's terrible. Stop it. Um... Uh, Obviously, this is uh, from uh, the Sigma from uh, 314 Mods House, whatnot. It could either be a squonker or you could change it and just use it. You know, you flush that off and you can use it as a plane regulated. I'm, I'm, I am I'm, gushed in this review. Uh, I have continued to use this mod. I shall keep this mod. And I, I just think it's very, very good. Um, there was a couple of little niggles um, that I pointed out in the video, but it doesn't take away from the fact... I think it's a great mod. It's nice. He normally does 3D printed stuff, Tony. Uh, but when he does Delrin metal and whatnot, I think he excels at it. I really do. Uh, the Exode still being um, one of my uh, favourite little uh, mods. So... <laughs> Uh, you can just, you can crack on, you can crack on, uh, but yeah, Sigma is tremendous, and well worth a look if you are, squonking is the future, everybody knows that, I'll give you 20 bucks for it, you can try, actually, just, I'll, I'll give you my email address, you can send me an email, 
and offer me 20 for it and see how it's, see the response you get. Um, Gaz was a visionary for that exode. Yeah, I know. Uh, my my lovely little exode. I I do love it so. Um, it's an absolute sweat box inside. I mean, it's condensation city. It, it, it really is. It's the worst mod I've come across for condensation. Uh, but I still love it. But um, I do have to check the board every once in a while and make sure that everything's nice and dry in there because it's so easy to just yeah um right uh ash the the tycoon tycoon's a very very good mod uh 21700 it's excellent um tony hunt you tony you've blown it mate you can't come in taking the piss and then ask me serious questions because I don't, I don't, I don't, it just doesn't care. I don't care anymore. Anyway, no is the answer. Uh, Mr. McKenzie, um, Squonkin is dead again. 18350 Satburn and Dwarf is back. We were talking about that earlier on today. I've, we were, when, where were we? We were in the Hellfire group actually, and looking at the amount of people that had still had little 18350 mods for the dwarves and all that. The, was it the Atom drip tip on top? Still a beautiful combo. Uh, still a beautiful combo. Uh, which road? See, you're asking me questions as well, but and two seconds ago you were taking the piss. I'm a very sensitive soul. Very sensitive soul. Um... Uh, I don't have the limelight because for reasons but it'll be here soon. It'll be here soon. Just don't mention O-rings to Dan. Just don't mention O-rings. Anyway. I need to show you these. Right. I I, 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 I literally don't have the One day, hand on heart, I will fix this. I will fix this. It just will not be tonight. So, here we go. Now, let's me move, move, move me microphone. There we go. Uh, this is Joe. Remember Joe. I'm not going to look at the TV screen because the monitor because uh, I'll just keep looking here because it looks normal. Right. For the past few weeks, I was one of the lucky souls that uh, was one of the testers for um, the DNA 60C. There was myself and several other people uh, that got uh, different mods and uh, got this from JG and uh, obviously Delro and DNA 60C. So this is what I've been. So I've been using this board for a wee while. Okay, when I say a wee while, I was, I was probably about three weeks to be fair. But I've been, been about three weeks, uh, putting it through its paces. Now, this is um, once again, Justin. Thank you so so much for letting me play about with this and uh, have a little bit of input for what it was worth. Not a lot. Um, now, this this is the first DNA sixty eight C. Uh, mod to hit the market if you like uh, this is the obviously it's the, the lore by Hassar and um, this is a collaboration between Ross Unknown and uh, Hassar and uh, she got the big old logo here got this going on uh, we've got uh, this here we've got uh, this going on here we've got this going on up here and it's it's really nice. Um, I'm not. I've made my feelings clear on this in the past. I'm not a huge fan of collabs. I, normally, I think they can be pretty. Sometimes can be a bit tasteless. That my opinion on it. Um, but uh, this one doesn't. Mo, I'm going to say it. This does not offend me. It does not offend me. Uh, and 
yeah, it's quite nice, but it does have that. DNA 60C. Now, um, whilst this is the first one that hit the market, the pro I'm going to mention it, is that, um, you know, the guys were supposed to just get a DNA 60, then the DNA 60C got mentioned and they had a poll and uh, everybody that was on the list for this basically said, we'll hold off for a DNA 60C. The problem was is that the, the, the mod did never had a USB. It wasn't designed for a USB. So it's got a DNA 60C, but there is no USB port. Um, now, DNA 60C, obviously, let's bind up and down buttons here. So this is just the theme that they put on it. Obviously, you've got the 60C. You can see that you've got replay here. So you've got the replay. You can go in. Uh, another thing I'll say is that um, I've been able to use replay with um, NI80 complex coils, um, which has been weird. Uh, that it actually works with it. But um, I, I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail here, but obviously you can you know, do your usual. You can hit replay or you can go into menus here settings you know you can change coil settings stats system you know it's all in there and you're, you're going to be seeing loads of these you've also got like the dna 80 c that's coming as well but uh, this was the first mod that um, hit the market and uh, i have my original lore um which i i still use and i like a lot and uh, yeah so thank you to Ross and also thank you to young Matthias uh, for putting this my way. And obviously that's the midge in there. And that's, I have my special engraving on it because Ross seems to think that I have no idea. And he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Uh, but um, yeah, you're going to see a lot of DNA 60C boards and mods hitting the market very soon. Uh, but um Oh, for the love of fuck. <laughs> um, Adrian, I love you dearly, but um, please. <laughs> right. Um, time for a vape. I've not been vaping much in this one. Can I get this back? Whoop. There we go. Um, do you need a DNA sixty C in your life? I, I'll be completely honest. For me, I'm I'm I I probably it doesn't affect me up nor down. Um, I do like the addition of replay. Uh, I do. I use replay from time to time, especially when I'm squonking. Did I did I do a thumbs down? No, do a thumbs up. There we go. Thumbs up. Hang on, I need to do this again. Is it this? There we go. Um, and uh, destroy Mark. Joe just told me to feck off. <laughs> um, it's yes. That's a whole other conversation that I will have at another time. I will have at another time, but not tonight. Not tonight, because um, I've been going for 40 minutes already, and that's probably too much as it is. Uh... Oh, that is nice. Uh, of course, I am vaping, and in, in this I have my Jedi's Punk. Um, uh, was it? Yeah, the that Delro is uh, it's the, the 1800 milliamp hour internal, but it's the got to do this it's the same battery that's in that one same battery that's that one uh, hang on i need to do something just for badness that that that's not the color it is that's the color it is anyway uh yes i love my delro that's my it's my baby it's my baby it's not your Delro, Paul. It shall never be your Delro. Get over it now. Not going to happen. Um, 
Right. This excites me. <laughs> there's, there's, there's not. There's, most of the patrons uh, will have seen these and know how much I've gushed. Um, I don't want to gush too much just now. Anyway, um, <laughs> Art and Mod. Art and Mod. Um, now, I had. Um, Oh, God, I always forget the name of the mod, the Omnia. Um, was it the Omnia? Omnia. 21700 uh, Borrow Mod, which I really liked, but it had red buttons on a black shell and uh, stainless steel battery tube. And and so Alexandro, um, yeah, he, uh, he's, he's sorted me out. So uh, check this out. This is... Move, 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 move. Here we go. So I now have a new body. I, uh, I, I wish. Uh, Alessandro's now got. Uh, he's invested in a, a laser, so he's now doing a little bit of laser work on his shell. Uh, so that's the body. Got a new carbon fiber tube there as well. Uh, he's done a little borrow tank with the turtle on it. Black buttons. Um, Cerakoted bottom, Cerakoted on the top, uh, same with the battery, and uh, also with the rods going down here. Uh, that's a sky tip and a sky net, and um, it's it's very 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 pretty. This is a twenty one seven hundred. It's really small for a twenty one seven hundred, and it. Uh, if you're interested, watch the review. I, I, pointed out the pros and cons as I saw them. Uh, the fire and button location is not for everybody. I'm very used to it now. And uh, yeah, he kind of, he, he spoiled me on this one. He really did. But it's it's turned it into a, a drop dead gorgeous mod, in my humble opinion. So, there we go. We do, we do have some more. Stay there, Joe. You stay there. Uh, I wish I could get the... Ah, I'm, oh, this colours just make me angry. Anyway, the Limitless V2. Um, in a lot of respects, looks very much like the V1, apart from the, the, you know, the cutout down here. Inside this is totally different. Uh, it, it's been completely redesigned inside. Uh, the simplest way for me to explain it is if you think of a limelight mod, how it's almost like modular inside. You know, you can strip it. You can strip it right down. So if you have an issue with a mod here, let's just say the screen goes, the board goes, anything like that, you can strip it down. Alessandro can send you a replacement part and you can fit it yourself. It's the way the game should go, in my humble opinion. People like Limelight, now Alessandro Art and Mod. Uh, there's a couple of other guys do it as well. No more gluing shit in or, or making mods so that you can't get into them or you have to spend $50 to send it somewhere, another $50 to get it back to you. The, this is changing the game, in, in my humble opinion. Um, this one is a peak body. Uh, this is uh, Juma. This is sandblasted Juma, uh, which I I didn't actually realise at first it was sandblasted Juma. Uh, the peak's been sandblasted as well. Uh, I'm sure he said it's 305. I'm sure he said 305. It used to be titanium, but he's gone to th uh, stainless steel for the top and bottom. These are 18650 mods. Um, this one here, uh, I've changed the body out. Um, this is sanded is sebonite is sebonite sanded ebonite. When I say sanded, I mean it's got like the sand going through it, if you like. Uh, but it is ebonite, and this is a Hondorian rosewood burl body, and 
<laughs> it's just gorgeous. And this is an ironwood body. Now, um, things to I'll put, I'll cover all this in the review. I'll, I'm not going to get into much more detail here, but um, these are. This is what floats my boat. This is what floats my boat uh, in a big way. And actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna set one up right now. Um, Hang on a second. There's just something I have to do. It's just, it just, it makes me feel better about myself. Um, <laughs> Daniel, you know I love you dearly. <laughs> you know I love you dearly. <laughs> just, I'm going to pop a battery in this one here just now. Um, I was actually in a... a spoken to Alessandro a few times uh, and he's, he's shown me video around his workshop and so on and um, there, there's things there's things that a lot a lot of modders don't necessarily share uh, which is a bit sad I think for some some of them is that um, all his work's done in house you CNC um, stabilization of the wood Cerakoting everything is done in house um but anyway uh so there we go there's a little bit of hrb that is the yg creations is it yes it is the asylum rta and just so whoop, that's the peak one It looks a bit better in this camera. It looks a bit better in this camera. Um, right. That is it. That is all I have got for you. Thank you, Joe, for your work in the coffee stain. Um, if you have any questions, um, where does one get a Blaze AIO? Uh, I don't know who's selling the Blaze AIOs. Sorry, I'm just going to go through chat. If you've got any questions or anything like that, just fire away now uh, and I will try and answer. Uh, those questions um have you seen the new wicked borrow tanks um did they they're going down the same route as at Mizzou and so on you know the, the the bottom comes off so you can access the build deck is that the right one i'm thinking of um i'm all for that i'm all for that i really am uh i i just the sliding down door and just trying to get your it's not for me um, Dominic, I'm still going. Uh, you know, it's supposed that you said you were working tonight, Dominic. You said you were working. Um, where is the house? I like the lid of the wood panels. Uh, just finished service. Okay, I'll watch one at home. Thanks, Coffee Eye Joe. Which Delro can I actually have? N uh, n none of them. None of them. None of them. No Delros. You're not getting any Delros from me. I have my D100 and my Rezo. And um, I wish it would stop doing that. Um, and the D100 I like, but the, the Rezo is, is, is with me till the bitter end, I'm afraid. It's with me till the bitter end. Um, yeah, the Ironwood, it was the... The Ironwood was the, the one that I chose. That was the one that I chose. Uh, Alessandro, he, he, he just included the HRB one. Um, but um, anyway, uh, going back to chat, just um, where can I get the Limelight tanks from? Uh, Limelight website. Limelight website. Um... Rob Remus at Steam Island in the Isle of Wight. Uh, he usually keeps them in stock. Um, uh, little Timmy Vapes. Have you gotten the Aries final yet? Or finale? Um, have you tried it yet? No. Strangely enough, they never sent that to me. 
That's and I usually get everything from Anakin apart from uh, not so much and yeah some other stuff. But I'm surprised I never got that. I'm I I'll be honest and um, I didn't even know it was coming until I saw uh, Phil uh, Bissardo doing a video on it, and then I saw Grim Green doing a video on it. And I'm going to say this publicly, and I would say this, Nick, you know 100% I would say this to your face, mate. Uh, but um, too much cotton. Too much cotton, man. Jesus wept. What did you do there? Um, but I'm not surprised by the... I think that he... I'm, I skipped through it. Like he was talking about gurgling. I think with mouth to lung having that flat deck and the air hole isn't pronounced, if you get any juice coming off your cotton at all or spit back from the coil or, you know, crackling, that juice is going to get inside that hole and give you... So it's... Yeah. Uh, Grim took the video down. You're joking, did he? No way! <laughs> Oh dear, <laughs> he must, <laughs> he must have got both barrels from uh, Phil and Dimmy. Um, <laughs> um, is there anything else? Um, I, do you know there, there's there's times when. This is the way I work. This is just the way I work. Um, I, I can't pass comment on the way Nick works or, or any other reviewer does it because we all do things differently. Um, but I've done it the same way and not changed in 12 years. Uh, and it's possibly not the right way to do it, but it's the way I do it anyway. Um, if I get something to review, if I have an issue with it, a big issue, then I usually contact the mod maker or the company direct and say listen this is shit this doesn't work um that's if it's not hit market yet because then there's a possibility that they may change something possibly um not many of them listen to anything i say but possibly um if however if it is already for sale and it's on market, then I will just go ahead and just say, I think this is broken. This does not work. This is an issue. Much like the Pulse, the Pulse AIO, uh, with the door thing and, you know, the condensation buildup. That is an issue, in my humble opinion. Uh, but it's it's all... So, I'm curious. See, my nose is bothering me now why he's taking it down, because it would have to be something... Yeah... Anyway, uh, did you break Paul this afternoon? <laughs> I'm not going to go with that one. Uh, Daniel's been uh, muted twice. Yes. Um, you do reviews. Not good ones, but I do do them. Uh, hello, Faye Perth. All right, Neeb. Um Sorry, is that Perth above me or Perth far, far away from me? Uh, Dominic, that worked with Gus. Not. We, we really have to have a serious conversation about things we say in private and things we do not say publicly. You know, I wouldn't say publicly that you know, you, you did nothing today. In case Tracy, your wife, heard me saying that. You know, if I was to say that you sat in your arse and ate a six-pack of yum-yums and just scratched your arse all day, you wouldn't want me sharing that in case Tracy, your wife, heard me. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Faye, above you. Um, I should have got that, actually, to be fair. Uh you tried that uh, canap can 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 pay can 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 pay can pay? No. Um, I was I was just leaving. It's still I've not 
I, p I nicked it up, but I've still not uh, tried it because I didn't get anything from it. Uh, so I was leaving it alone. Uh, uh, Faber, I wonder if you got a lot of feedback like... Well, that's a different story. Uh, we're not going to talk about that here. Right. Uh, oh, that's that's getting better. That's getting better. That I can actually, I can smell something from it now, and and taste something. Well, I might give that a go later on. Fit like it. Uh, what are yum yums? They're they're just things that make you as big as this if you eat too many. So you. Don't eat all the pies and don't eat all the yum yums like I do. Um, that's a Scottish bodybuilders, right? I'm going to tidy up. You have until I've tidied up uh, to ask me any other questions, or I'm going to go. In fact, I think we'll we'll have a go in this. Megta 700, hello. All about the mouth to lung me, don't you know? That's way too much. That's way, way too much for me. Um, Scott, uh, you off to Expo in May. Um, no, I'll not be going to the one in May, mate. I'll be going to Germany for the Hall of Vape um, at the end of May, June. Uh, but I'll be going to Expo at the tail end of the year. Is it October? Is it? We'll be going to the, I'll be going to that one with with the Motley crew. With the Motley crew. Um, yeah, we'll be doing that. Because I enjoyed, I did enjoy, I mean, I hadn't enjoyed going to Expo for years, um, the Birmingham one, but I really enjoyed the last one because I didn't go as, you know, work reviewer type thing. I just went for a piss up and have a laugh and it was much more fun, um, much more fun. Uh, oh, but uh, 700, I've not got my um, balance anymore. The answer would be no. Unless he did uh, another cap, which I never had, which allowed you to put taller tanks on. Um, it, it certainly wouldn't work with, uh, because, um, where is she? Because, like, the, the Nar it, it was perfect for, like, the, the Narva and the BWM tanks. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at the, I mean, so this used to fit on perfectly with a drip tip. But, uh, yeah, the Asylum's just, a, I think it's just a little bit in the tall side. But the other top cap that you could get, it, it may work with that. Um, hang on, I'll give you a, it's, it's in the, this Andreas, oh my God. There's a name I've not seen in a long time. One of the nicest men in the game. Um. Uh, it's about 40 mil. It's just a tad under 40 millimetres. Uh, so if you have a look in the face, ask them in the Facebook group um, if a 40 mil tank will fit in it. Um, can't believe it. My fellow cucumber. How have you been? <laughs> um, right. Oh, the mod maker Squonker. Yeah, um, I saw that he was doing them again. Um, where are we? Now that Squonking is is back. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't. Ah, he's oh, sorry, shitty window, but I'll open it anyway. 
yeah, mod maker. He's he's doing them uh, all different colours and everything now. Um, yeah, quite 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 funky. Um, I love Rick. Rick's brilliant. Uh, Rick is brilliant, and um, and and he deserves every success. Um, right. Thank you so so much for uh, spending a bit of time with us here. Um, I will. Uh, I'm going to nip into Discord and see if I get a, a rollicking from a couple of people, and um, and you guys take care and thank you once again. So until next time.